Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. Welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh, a food delivery service that brings food right to your doorstep. Go ahead and get started with six free meals by clicking the link down below and heading over to HelloFresh.com and entering the coupon code Emmy60 to receive six free meals. That's two free meals with each of your first three boxes, a total of $60 off. Alrighty, let's get on with the taste test. So today I'm going to be tasting this. And this box was very kindly sent to me by Alexis. Alexis, thank you so much for sending this to me. And this is an instant self-heating hot pot. So the first time I ever saw and tasted one of these was just a few weeks ago. I'll put the link above to that video. And the way this works is that this is a plastic disposable container, but you can cook your own instant hot pot without any kind of heating unit, without a microwave, without any kind of burner plate or anything. You just add a little bit of water to this self-heating chemical packet, which brings the water to a boil and cooks the hot pot. It's absolutely amazing. So the one I tasted previously was a little bit different, a different brand, a different shaped container, but I think the main concept is going to be same. It's gonna use that same kind of heating element and it's gonna be kind of a double boiler kind of system. But let's go ahead and find out. So this was already wrapped in plastic. I removed the plastic so you can see the packaging a little bit better. Everything is in Chinese. Nothing is translated, but I'm hoping that there are going to be illustrated directions inside. Okay, here we have, I believe this is gonna be the soup base. Well, maybe not. Maybe this is the additions. In the last instant hot pot I tried, there were probably about six or seven packets of different hot pot items that you place inside the bowl here. Oh, incidentally, I should probably explain hot pot. Hot pot is basically a communal meal where in the middle of the table, you've got some kind of heat source, a burner of some kind, and a big pot of soup. And then there are all kinds of little additions, meats, vegetables, noodles, and all of that is added to the soup. And then it's cooked. You use your chopstick and you stir things around and then you serve yourself into your bowl, all the little additions. And then while all those things are cooking, the broth also gets more concentrated. And depending on the type of hot pot, that broth may or may not be consumed. In Japanese shabu shabu, for example, which has the same kind of setup, that broth is consumed and it's much enriched and flavored by all the things that you've added. In my last instant hot pot video, I got a few comments saying that you do not consume the soup in that case because it's very oily and very, very spicy and intense. You just simply eat the cooked vegetables and the meats that you added to the hot pot. So that was new to me. And that one also was a vegan version of hot pot. So I'm curious to see what this one is or if I will even know. This looks like it's going to be the soup base. A big packet of what looks like chili flakes. And this is interesting. This looks like it might be a wet nap. Let's see what's underneath this tray. <gasps> Great, there's more stuff, awesome. So this looks like, this is probably sesame oil. Chopsticks, awesome. These ones are plastic. It looks like you can assemble them. These are the same noodles that were in the other hot pot. I really enjoyed these. I believe they're made out of a sweet potato. And here is the heating unit. It says very clearly heating bag, not to be eaten. Inside this container, there's a little line here. So I believe that's the fill line for the water. So the first thing I'm gonna do is assemble my chopsticks. Insert these into here, and you have a pair of plastic chopsticks. If you feel the ends of these chopsticks are a little bit textured, a little bit rough to make it easier to pick up slippery things. So, appreciate that. I actually prefer wooden chopsticks, but I think this is a wet nap, but let's go ahead and see. And indeed, it is a wet nap. So I'm gonna use it to clean up my hands now. And I suspect they give you this because these hot pots tend to be a little bit oily, so I think this is really good for cleaning up. So at the bottom of this, I'm gonna add my noodles first. <laughs> Very interesting smell. A little bit like vinegar and plastic. <laughs> kind of like rubber bands already. So now I'm gonna add the soup base based on what this looks like. And based on what it smells like, it's gonna be spicy. Next, we're gonna add our vegetables and additions. This smells like Vienna sausages a little bit. Maybe this one will have a little bit of meat in it. Let's see. Oh, that looks like it might be water chestnut. I see woodier mushrooms. That looks like bamboo shoots. I believe those slices are water chestnuts. That's lotus root. Now to this top portion, I'm just gonna add a bit of water. And in the bottom portion, I'm gonna add the heating pack. There. 
Now I've just got some regular tap water and I'm going to fill it to that line right there. Now I've got to work quickly here, put that on top, and then snap the lid on. Oh, it's starting to steam, look! So cool, it's like a kettle. So while my hot pot is cooking, let me tell you a little bit more about HelloFresh. So HelloFresh is a food delivery service that brings food in an insulated box right to your doorstep. Everything is pre-packaged, insulated, and cold, and everything you need comes right in your box. And that's one of the things I love so much. You don't have to run out to the store and get an ingredient that you're just going to stick in your pantry and you're never going to use again because it contains tiny little amounts of everything you need to make the recipe. So recipes come together in about 30 minutes and you can always switch between the different menus, classic, veggie, or family, to tailor the meals to your own taste. Another thing I like is that you can get out of recipe ruts, you can try new recipes and new ingredients that you might not otherwise try, and you can get the most for your moolah because now HelloFresh is priced at $6.99 per serving. So head over to HelloFresh.com by clicking the link down below, enter ME60 to receive a total of $60 off, that's two free meals for your first three boxes of food. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Now let's check on our hot pot. And it smells great in here. It smells spicy and five spiced. Careful when opening this. Steamy. All right, that smells so good. So let me stir this around. Oh, it looks great. It smells wonderful, nice and five spiced, which is a blend of five spices. <laughs> that includes star anise, a little bit of cinnamon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna add my sesame oil. It said to add it to taste, so I'm gonna add about half of that. I'm gonna try the spiciness first without the chili powder and then I'll add a little bit more. I'm gonna try the noodles first. The tataki mouse. Mmm. Ooh, that does not disappoint. Really great, squeaky, chewy texture. And this is pretty hot. I don't think I need to add any more chili powder. I think if I added more chili, this would start to become uncomfortable, which takes away from the pleasure of eating it. But these noodles are awesome. I love how chewy they are. Just wonderful. All right, let's try this beautiful thing. And this is lotus root. Mm. This one is more well seasoned. The lotus root has some salt in it, so very tasty and awesome texture. The texture of lotus root is vegetal and crunchy. So you know when you cook a carrot, they get soft and tender. Lotus root does not do that. It retains a crunch. Kind of similar to a water chestnut, but not as sweet and starchy. This hot pot also tastes a little bit more gingery and definitely more salty. Okay, let's try this. This is the wood ear mushroom. <laughs> that also has a great texture. A little bit more gelatinous and jelly-like, but still crunchy. Much more like big kelp or seaweed, like that. Not too much flavor though. All the flavor seems to come from the broth. Okay, let's try this. I believe this is water chestnut, these round slices here. Mmm. Maybe not. Again, it tastes mostly of the broth. It doesn't have much of a flavor in itself, but not as crunchy as I remember water chestnut being. And not as soft as, say, a potato, but kind of a cross between a water chestnut and a potato. Yeah, kind of starchy. Not exactly sure what that is. This one, too, is vegetarian. I don't see any meat. Ooh, let's try a bamboo shoot. Mmm. Mmm. That was a very crunchy, woody piece of bamboo shoot. Here is some enoki mushroom, which are really fine, small, stalked mushrooms. Love those because they absorb tons of flavor. Very tasty, but I think it's the combination of the oil and the hotness that triggers that almost kind of gag-like reflex. It's not gagging in the sense that you want to throw up. It just triggers this kind of tickle that makes you say, oh, that's an irritant. <laughs> so if you like spicy foods, if you like five spice, and if you like foods that have interesting squelchy textures, you will love this. This comes together 
very quickly. It is satisfyingly hot in two different ways, spicy and temperature hot. So there you have it, a self-heating hot pot. That's pretty incredible. I do have reservations about heating food so hot in plastic. I do feel like there must be some kind of off-gassing. I'm sure they say this is BPA free or this is quite safe, but there's something about heat and plastic that just seems like a big no-no. But once in a while, I could see that you would make an exception. Also, I think this would be a great thing to take on, say, something like a camping trip. It's lightweight. You just need to add a little bit of water and you got yourself an instant meal. But it is very, very spicy. If you can't tolerate spicy foods, then I would say definitely pass on this one. Alexis, thanks again for sending this to me. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Head over to HelloFresh.com and enter ME60 to receive a total of $60 off. That's two free meals for your first three boxes of food. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. And I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye.